Hi, I'm Sean Dye. Today we are going to try something fun. We're going to do some mono printing with water soluble oil colors. So here's the setup. I've got some paints uh, already out on my palette. I've added a little bit of uh, water soluble stand oil to the paint. I've mixed it in thoroughly to make it flow and um, make it a little bit softer. Um, I'm going to be printing on this uh, buff colored printmaking paper. And so it's kind of a smooth finish. It's somewhat absorbent. And over here, I have a piece of plexiglass with some white paper taped to the back of it. I'm going to paint my image on the plexiglass, and then we're going to transfer it to the, uh, the printmaking paper. This is a photograph that I took um, in Vermont um, in the fall, and it was right at sunset. And um, it took me a few times to try to get that picture because I was walking with my friend Tracy and her dog, Orion. He kept stepping in the water and putting reflections on the water when I was trying to get the picture, but I finally got it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paint that image on the plexiglass and I'm going to start with my, my dark mixture here. I have a mixture that I've made up of sap green and alizarin crimson. And so I'm going to start with all the darkest darks. Now one of the things that you want to keep in mind is that anything that you paint is going to be reversed. Okay, so if you were to do some letters or something, you'd want to keep that in mind. Bring a little bit more green in there. It's a little redder than I expected. And one of the, the other thing you'll find is you have to sort of adjust how much paint you have on your plate and how much pressure you apply. And sometimes it takes a few times to get that down. You can do this. Today we're going to do it without a press. If you have a, a access to an etching press, and that's what I'll sometimes use at home. I have a small etching press in my studio. You can use a little press. Um, but we have a, a brayer, and we're going to use a couple other objects to, to help make the impression. Now, because I'm working with oil, I don't have to worry about it drying on my plexi here. Um, you could do this with acrylic paint, but you have to work so quickly. So working... Um, with oils takes the pressure off a little bit. And because I'm using water soluble oils, the cleanup is easy afterwards. Now, I'm going to continue painting in a second, but wh while I'm uh, in the middle of painting, I have to prep my paper a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I have a, just a squirt bottle with water here. I'm going to spray both sides of my paper. And this will moisten the paper, and it will help pull the paint into the paper. I'll let it drip a little bit. I'm just going to let it sit here and let the paper absorb the moisture while I finish painting. Now, the um, question you might have is, well, why don't I just paint directly on the paper? And the thing is that you get a different kind of stroke by removing the artist's hand one step away you get a different image, something that would be really hard to get um, if you didn't use this process. So I'm going to put some of that, those yellows and oranges up in the sky there. Now I'm going to be working on this colored paper and not white, so I sort of keep that in mind. And if you had an extra piece of printmaking paper, you could put your printmaking paper behind there so you'd kind of know the color.
So get some of the blues up in the sky there. I'm making it a sort of a blue green if you saw me grab some green over there. So this is the sky reflection in the water. Put a little bit up here. Keeping it loose is going to be pretty abstract. Um, because I'm working on a paper that's not white, white will actually show up. So I can put some white in here. I'll just put a tiny bit of yellow in there. these little branches in. I'm looking at my paper. My paper is almost ready. When you first spray it, it's going to be shiny. And you'll know it's ready when it still feels cool to the touch, but it's no longer shiny. If, uh, if you're ready to print and it still is a little bit shiny, what you can do is just take some paper towels and uh, blot off the extra moisture. I'm going to put, make it a little bit darker in the middle here. You want to keep in mind that not all of this is going to transfer, so it's going to be a little lighter on your paper or significantly lighter depending on how much pressure you use. So I'm going to deepen my darks just a little bit here. Okay, so that's about as much color as I want to put on the plate. So I've got a pile of brushes here I can wash later. And I'm going to look at that still a little bit wet and shiny. So what we'll do is we'll take some clean paper towels. You want to make sure the paper towels are clean and you also want to check your fingers because every time you touch the paper um, you have a chance. So I'll move my palette out of the way here. I'll just sort of blot that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our plate and lay that down here. Then comes the tricky part. You have basically one chance to get this paper lined up on your, on your plate because if you move it around, you're going to smudge your image. So you just want to line it up, and I, I made sure ahead of time that my paper and my plate were about the same size. And you drop it carefully onto the plate. Now, the paint's sticky, so it's going to sort of stick to your paper. I have a, a brayer here. This is what printmakers will use to apply ink to a plate. And if you don't have a brayer, you can use something like this, something with a hard edge but maybe curved edges. This is my brush soap. I'm going to work it around. And you can cheat a little bit and you can sort of peek and see what kind of impression you're getting. It looks like we're getting a pretty good impression. Okay, and then you want to peel up, carefully peel your picture back. And there you go. And you have a monoprint or monotype made from uh, water-soluble oil color. Thank you. I'm uh, Sean Dye, and you can check out my paintings at uh, seandyestudio.com, and you can get more free art lessons at jerrysartorama.com.